Questions. First one on Kentucky. Mm -hmm. When the president travels tomorrow, he's going to be going to a region that voted overwhelmingly for former President Trump. He said yesterday he wants to be a source of comfort when he's there. Can you talk a little bit about how he prepares to go to what seems like it's going to be the most you know, conservative area of the country that he's traveled to as president? And does it make it harder to, to be that source of comfort given how much polarization and political division we're seeing at this moment right now? Uh, no, I think the president looks at people through uh, the tragedy they're experiencing, uh, the heartache they're feeling at the loss of life, the loss of their homes, uh, questions many people are raising. I know about whether they can build back from uh, this, this storm that's impacted their communities. He looks at them as human beings, not as people who have partisan affiliations. Uh, and uh, in his heart, he has empathy for everything that they're going through. And the message he's going to send to them directly and clearly tomorrow is, we're here to help. We want to rebuild. We are going to stand by your side. And we're going to help your leaders do exactly that. Uh, so no, I wouldn't say it's hard to prepare. I would say the president just wants to send a clear message and stand by people in these communities as they're going through this difficult time. And then 